Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Do you want to see what I and the lion bought in our recent Bista village trip? It's a lot, it's a lot, we bought a lot. Mm. Yes, you will have seen from my most recent video, the hubby, the lion and I took a little trip to Bista Village. I had just signed up to the Bista Village on the Bista Village website. On the app you get um, a QR code and every time you make a purchase you scan the QR code or you get the um, sales associate to scan the QR code and then it kind of just registers that you've bought stuff and you get offers like a free coffee or a free macaron or ice cream. We decided that we were going to go um, on this particular day, kind of very short notice because it was the last day of a 20% off for those members. We jumped in the car and off we went. First stop, Gucci. Total bust. Uh, the The client advisor or bouncer really it was a bouncer outside Gucci it was like yeah there's no queuing the digital queue is closed basically you have to come back here and we'll put a little notice up on the side here and then you can join in on the digital queue and I thought Bleh. if we had known we were going to be going not just on the on that day if we'd pre-planned it I would have gone through and um, the concierge service that Sophie Shoher and her husband use uh, because they can make appointments, they can pre-book appointments for you. So if you say, I'm going to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning, can you get me an appointment in Gucci for, for half 10, an appointment in Prada for 11 or whatever, they can do that for you and you don't have any of that any of that hassle, but we just wandered in and uh, basically winging it and we paid the price. So there was no Gucci, no Gucci for me, um, which I was upset about. Someone seems to be playing with the chainsaw outside. No, it's someone on a teeny tiny child sized quad bike, but they are a full grown male. We get all sorts around here. I really, really wanted to go into Gucci because they had some multicolour pieces and uh, from last year's collection. I was like, uh, but I missed out on that. Say la vie, say la vie. Uh, so we went a few other places. Yes, we did and uh, we bought some stuff holy guacamole we have got balenciaga we've got bottega veneta we've got alexander mcqueen and we've got a little bit of fendi too um i think basically the floodgates have opened and um, yeah I just went a little bit nuts. Um, I had given myself a spend limit for getting my job and everything like that and buying myself a big treat and, and I just hadn't done it. I was a bit nervous about committing the money and all of this kind of stuff so I just hadn't got around to doing it and I kind of splurged at Bista Village instead. So enough of the chit chat, let's go in with the first things that we picked up. Now, some of these bits and pieces you will have seen in the vlog. Uh, in here, in this dust bag, or in this shopping bag, I've got a dust bag and I've got a teeny tiny little box. Um, so I'm going to show you the teeny tiny little box first. Teeny tiny little cute Balenciaga box. And inside the teeny tiny cute little Balenciaga box is a teeny tiny cute little dust bag. Isn't that just adorable? And inside the teeny tiny little Balenciaga dust bag is this little blue. This is an AirPods holder. Now, I don't have AirPod Pros. This is the one I have, and I had been looking for an AirPod holder that had a clip so I could clip it onto things. And um, I had my eye on the baby pink version of this, uh, I think it was on Farfetch or on Louisa Aroma. it was £195. I missed out on the pink one, I was a bit annoyed about that. Um, this one came in at a solid £100. Now I didn't get 
20% off on this uh, with the members 20% off obviously it's store, store by store discretion um, but also what I hadn't done was I hadn't asked so I probably should have asked in Balenciaga because I asked in the next store and they said no we're not doing it but I can hook you up so I am absolutely delighted to have this I'm really happy I paid £100 normally I'm not into buying luxury things for tech um, because your tech goes end of life it it evolves and you buy a new version of whatever it is but i don't see me getting rid of these anytime soon they work so i'm not bothered about having the latest and greatest but i am bothered about having something that i can clip onto um something and how cute it is it's so adorable in fact i'm going to put my airpods in now marvellous i'm taking my airpods to work quite a bit now as well so i'm just going to feel a little bit happier that i've got them tucked away in their own little cute little case <laughs> oh honestly stupidly happy about this small piece stupidly happy and the other thing i picked up in balenciaga and uh, the lion may have egged me on on this one because as we were walking towards it i said oh my god they've got the bloop i thought that had been discontinued i thought i'd missed the opportunity so here we go dust bag yes 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 and in the dust bag we have we have the classic style oops there we go that wasn't very elegant was it we have a classic style um and not moto it's the classic city Caleb, help me out here. I know this is your area of expertise. Um, and I always thought, does it say on here? Classic City AJ in beige tapioca. I believe this is a sort of coated, coated lambskin. It's got a little bit of a sheen, but it's not patent. And it is crinkled. It makes me think a little bit of the Saint Laurent Nikki bags, which I also quite like. I think those are fabulous. It has got silver hardware yes <laughs> i'm such a sucker for silver hardware such a sucker for silver hardware um and i always thought with this bag especially because my girl tanya i don't know tanya do you still have your red one tanya had the little mini one and i thought that's it i don't need a big bag anymore don't need to carry a big bag anymore something like this is going to be too big for me i'm going to go for one of the mini ones they had mini ones in there and actually and the lion agreed with me on this one he said that is a big bag style that is a bag that should be that is a bag style that should be in a big bag i'll tell you how much this one was in a moment uh, but it was between this and a sort of a navy blue one and the navy navy blue one really went so well with my jeans but this is the colour I kept going back to and you'll see on the vlog I'm trying them both I'm trying them both and uh, this is the one this is the one I went for so this was £1,090 now they're not available new on the website anymore they've been replaced by the Neo and I did say to her I don't like the Neo and she said everyone tells me that so maybe one day they'll scrap the neo and go back to this uh, this original classic so this would have been a full price of 1675 pounds oh god i love it and i couldn't stop looking at this particular color and the lion preferred the blue but he said look if that's the one that you're drawn to that's the one that you're drawn to and uh, my lovely my lovely friend megan may have mentioned on my unboxing video of this little beauty which by the way i'm going to do a what fits and all of that kind of stuff coming soon because this is an amazing little bag she said i don't know what it is about white and beige and cream colored bags but they become addictive megan I mean, I, I never question anything you say because I think you're right about pretty much everything you say. It's probably one of the reasons I like you so much. Uh, but you could be onto something there. Now, one of the things the hubby said uh, was this would be a great bag to take to work 
because you're still using your luxury bag, but it's not obvious. If you know, if you're into Balenciaga, if you're into luxury bags, you will know. Otherwise, you probably would just think, oh, that's a bag. It's got lots of tassely bits on it. And I think he's absolutely right. So I am going to be using this for work this week. I'm going to use it. Um, I am tremendously excited. And you can expect to see uh, what fits and all of that kind of stuff and see it on my Instagram whenever I get around to posting on Instagram again. From Balenciaga we went over to Bottega Veneta and I picked up a couple of things in Bottega Veneta. Um, this, was, this was an eye-opener for, for the hubby and it was for me as well because when I saw this I was like, hold on, I need to have a look at that because that is current collection. Well, I've just had a look on the website and maybe it isn't a current piece now. Maybe it has just become not current, I think is probably the way to put it. But before I show you the bag, can we just have a look at this shopping bag? Here, look, look at the little poppers. To close the shopping bag. They did it on this one as well. How cool is that? What? What a little thing makes such a big difference. Brilliant. Okay, let's show you the bag. It is in this beautiful Bottega Veneta, really delicious dust bag. And, ha ha ha! Oh, Megan, Megan. I have got this mini twist bag in the beautiful, beautiful almond colour. A little bit more on the sort of heading into the brown tans kind of region. I have had my eye on this bag for a long time, um, but that I've had my eye on so many bags for a long time that not everything can go on the wish list that I share with you guys because it would be a never ending live stream of things that would be changing and being added and being, taken off it is in this beautiful in in Chichato woven leather and my new best friend who works at Bottega Veneta in Bista <laughs> village um said they don't often get these in they had some of the larger ones also on the shelf but this for me this style lends itself to this size now I showed this to the lion and he said he's not a fan of this woven leather he has said that he's not a fan of Bottega because he doesn't like things like the pouch, he doesn't like the mini Jody. Um, so I, I went to him with a little bit of trepidation and said, what do you think of this? And you'll see his face, his reaction when I showed it to him initially. What I wasn't able to do was capture his reaction when I showed him how you get into this bag, because I had to put my camera away to be able to open this bag to show him how to get into this bag. But it was an absolute gem. His jaw hit the floor with surprise and I think a little bit of delight thrown in because the way you get into this oddly shaped bag is in the bottom. So I flipped it over, opened the zip and went and he went So there you go, that's how you get in. And inside it's all leather lined in the beautiful same almond colour. I, I love this colour, I love this colour so much. And right at the back there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, is a little tag that says Bottega Veneta made in Italy. Um, so yeah, it's not a bag you can walk around carrying open. Oh God, it's so glorious. I'm so happy to have this. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. This bag was uh, 700 pounds. And I said to my new best friend who works at Bottega Veneta, are you taking part in the, oh look, it's got Bottega Veneta made in Italy stamped there as well. I do get distracted easily, don't I? I said to her, are you taking part in the 20% off for members? And she said, we are not, but I'm gonna hook you up. I can give you 10% off. I said, I'll take it. So this bag was on the shelf for 700 pounds and it cost me 630 pounds. 
and where you can still buy it new, Farfetch has the black version of this um, at full price at £1,045. So whichever way you slice it, I did all right here. £630, I'll take that. And indeed I did. And oh no, that's not the only thing I bought at Bottega Veneta because as we were leaving, I did a little double take in their um, little glass topped SLG counter and said, oh, can I have a look at that please? Uh, so I picked up something else. It is an SLG, as I have just mentioned. Let me get the receipt out so I can tell you how much I paid for this one. It is in here. It came in this long green Bottega Veneta box. I still could do with a bit of Bottega Veneta parakeet in my life. Um, here we go. It's, here we go in the little dust bag here. So it's not a full length thing. Uh, I've got some more care cards and stuff there. And it's in here. We're going to have a chat about something I noticed on the way home as well. Oh, come out, come out, wherever you are. Is this beautiful turquoise -y blue? It's not quite turquoise. It's, it's a little bit turquoise -y. Yes, let's call it turquoise blue. Why not? It is this kind of compact wallet -y card holder thing with the Intracharto, Intracharto uh, woven leather on the front flap there and it's got a rear slip pocket. Uh, the Intracharto stops there and then it's lined in oh, the softest leather in a sort of uh, brown colour, not too far off from actually this card, keeping this bit nice. So you open up the flap there, it's got a little popper in this dark sort of gunmetal hardware. Uh, it's got a front slip pocket there and then it's got just this open space here which is lined again in that kind of brown, if you can see that, leather. Um, and <laughs> I mean, I'm a card holder kind of girl, yes, but I'm also a kind of thing, what do you call it, coin holder, coin card holder? kind of girl. I have these three Louis Vuitton, the Rosalie coin purse, the uh, Emprunts key card holder, this Anne coin card holder. The reason I don't actually use any of these is, and it's doing it now to annoy me, is the zip pieces. They drive me absolutely wild. You've got to get it right when you put it into your bag so it doesn't Ugh. And these two, this one and this one, you've got to get it laying flat before you close the... I like. I love everything about these except for the damn zip. I'm not going to have that problem with this. <laughs> I am not going to have that problem with this at all. And I am tremendously excited to use this. I might actually switch into this today ready for when I go to work. <laughs> this little cutie weighs in at £250 retail price and it was in the outlet at 165 in this beautiful and it's called sky blue this colour sky blue um, and as we were leaving and I saw it and I like grabbed it and I went running back up and said I want one of these as well can you ring this up for me I want one of these and because you don't don't get if you don't ask I said to her any chance of the 10% discount on that as well and she said I'm afraid not I will get in trouble if I do it again so I did pay the outlet price of £165 I'm selling the Louis I'm selling the Louis I have no need for them I now have this and lovely little say it with me kids I know a lot of people don't like this phrase but I love it a little pop of colour so let's just have a little chat about um what I realized in the car on the way home about the things that I purchased this isn't everything there is something else to come from Fendi but I thought this was quite interesting um these none of these are colours that I have in my handbag and SLG and what have you 
collection and they're probably not colours that I would have expected to introduce into my collection. I've got this almond which is close to tan and I don't like tan as a colour. This sort of sandy, what's it called, beige tapioca. It does not sound appealing, does it? And then this kind of baby blue and this sky blue. Browns and blues are not my bag. And yet, here we are. Now, the next thing is something that we had looked at and then the hubby, because this is the lions, he has bought his own luxury thing. I haven't had to buy it for him. I haven't had to force him into it. Um, he, he did this all by himself. We looked at it in store. We wandered off. We went to Balenciaga. We went to Bottega Veneta. And he said, I'm going back and I'm getting that. Are you as excited as I am about this? I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. I tried not to jump in too much um, and try and encourage him too much. I tried to stand back so he didn't feel railroaded into it. There's the receipt. We'll have a look at that in a moment. I'm so proud of him. This could be the dawn of something new. He has bought himself, look at this dust bag. It's got Alexander McQueen there and then it's got this logo that they've been using for a long time now. He has got, and he's going to have to be careful that I don't try and pinch this off him. He bought himself this beautiful, it's upside down. It's got scribble style skulls scribbled all over it. It is this kind of card holder. Um, it's quite big actually, so maybe this is about the same sort of size as the Louis Vuitton coin card holder. So it's got the uh, Alexander McQueen debossed there in silver. We've got the skulls all over it. It's got a black background. We've got a slip here that's open on two sides and we've got one, two, three, four card slots here and this um, black hardware with Alexander McQueen stamped into it there that does my favourite thing and goes across and down so it's easy to get into. Oh there's more paperwork, we might get a name, we might get a name out of this. Check that in a second and then we have this kind of round carabina so you could put your keys on there or I had suggested to him you know if we're, if we're going out in London and he's got this in his back pocket he might want to clip this to his belt loop just so uh, just so he's got that little added extra bit of security but it's pretty cavernous it is all leather lined interior Alexander McQueen made in Italy stamped on this side and then the um, code reference, product code, serial number on that side. It's pretty big. It really is pretty big. But, I mean, this is a do-everything piece, isn't it? And I tell you, the moment he moves out of this into something else, I'm going to be in. I'm going to be in. Like, mine. I love it. I think it's brilliant. And I'm so pr proud of him. Really, I'm so proud of him. It was £205. Everybody, round of applause for the lion. Round of applause for the lion. And my last piece that I picked up at Fendi in Bista Village is in this bag. And you might feel that this is a little bit back to front. When I showed the lion and I said, eh, he said, you have to get it. It is only a matter of time. You have to get it. It doesn't come in a dust bag or anything. Um, I'm just going to grab it and pull it out. It is this shoulder strap, which I do believe is the same as Dale's Addiction's shoulder strap, except hers is green with the sort of lilac on the edging, uh, I believe. And mine is this kind of bubblegum pink with yellow on the edging on a black background with gold hardware Fendi Roma on that side and made in Italy 
on that side. Now this is one of the expandable guitar, guitar straps. It's on its shortest setting. Yeah, I've bought a bag strap. I've bought a bag strap. Uh, I don't have a bag. So there you go. Um, I bought this bag strap because as Dale has mentioned in one of her recent videos, in her Fendi collection videos, these are not cheap. And I got this, that is the McQueen receipt, where are we? I got this for, you might still think that this is a lot for a bag strap, uh, but I got this for £325. So I am absolutely delighted. I've just seen on the website that this one in uh, it looks like green with orange bits down the side is available on the website at £650. So I basically got this one in the right colours for me, half price. So I have um, a Fendi bag strap ready for when I get my Fendi bag. Holy guacamole, that is a lot. I went a little bit nuts um, and, and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with everything I got. Um, it, some of it surprised me. Uh, it really did, but I have absolutely no regrets. I haven't come home, like when I bought my red Gucci Soho um, shoulder tote bag thing, th and think, oh, I've made a terrible mistake. I shouldn't have bought that. I should have bought something else instead, or just come away with nothing. So I'm not feeling like that at all. I'm really, really happy with everything I've bought. I'm going to get into it all now. I'm definitely going to be using these little bits and my big Balenciaga bag for work. Uh, and I, again, I am so, so happy and so proud of the lion for choosing his very first luxury piece all by himself. Baby, I know you're watching because you watch all my videos because you have to, because you love me. Congratulations and welcome to my world. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of all of my bargains. I mean, it's still a lot of money, but not as much as it would have been if I bought the boutique. So let me know in the comment section down below which were your favourites. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it the thumbs up love. And until I see you, yes you, boop, for the next video, please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay fan dabby dozy, and bye bye